Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, it's Monday, which means it's time for collaging. <laughs> collage every day. Collage, collage, collage. Okay, so Marguerite Miller challenge. I don't know why it's a challenge. Um, I think it's fun, um, <laughs> but that's what people call it. So I will join in. Okay, so here's a quick flip through of the pages that I've done so far. You know, I might have to stop doing from the beginning at certain points. <laughs> <laughs> maybe halfway through the year uh, so very different styles happening going on um, just doing something a little bit different every week which is kind of what uh, I really like to do and not using the planner as a planner but using this space to kind of talk about the uh, collage that I did every week so getting closer to the last one that we did, which was this one last week. So, um, this one, yeah, really like this one. I like it a lot. Okay, so here is this week. Let me read off to you the prompts. Um, so, we have a repeating pattern found in nature, something in watercolor, something musical, a piece of washi tape, a calendar page or portion of, and bonus, a doodle. There you go, if you needed to take a screenshot of that. So, all right, let's start from the top. A repeating pattern found in nature. Um, as is usual, uh, I have a whole lot of things that I don't tend to use a lot, um, but yet I can't really get rid of. <laughs> so I went back to some stuff that I've had for quite some time. This is a little paper pad that I picked up at Michael's Gosh three years ago now. Um, it, you're not going to be able to find it. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But it has kind of a mixture. I actually did pull this one out because this would be a really fantastic uh, thing to collage with. Um, but then I realized the size of my page and this, you wouldn't probably really understand what was happening by the time I chopped it up to the size that I'd need it to be. But there's a whole lot of cool naturey things in here. Um, and so this is the page I actually chose, but I'm not going to show you which one yet. <laughs> You'll have to decide. Um, but yeah, lots of really cool, fun things in here. I thought long and hard about this one. But again, this is kind of the main thing. And I didn't know that I really wanted this to be my collage for the week. So... Anyway, so lots of great stuff in here. Just a bunch of different kinds of... I even considered, like, these mountains. Because um, there's a repeating pattern right here, you know, with the different mountain peaks and things and um, ridge lines. But then I realized you would have to somehow use all of this or part of this. And then it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. So, again... Um, even this I considered, but then I just was like, okay, sorry about that. That was a very, very large, large, very large, very large, very loud, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Vehicle <laughs> outside. I have my windows open. It's such a nice day. And then I thought about this one too, because it's a repeating pattern, really gorgeous but then again the size of it and then how to put that with the watercolor that I was going for so I'm kind of going after a brighter um, tone this week so I also pulled out this Jane Davenport paper pad I'm sure most of you have seen things in here full of watercolor images and mixed media I mean pretty prime picking in here so and then I've had this for so long I really need to be using things like this more often so yeah there's tons and tons of inspiration in here um, gorgeousness and everything like that so let me show you what I picked out okay so for a repeating pattern found in nature I have this because it's so pretty um, and I really like the little dotted line and yeah, so I have that, um, something in watercolor. I have two choices. So I pulled this one from this first, uh, 
paper pad. Um, and it's got the gold foil dots and I thought it might be kind of fun and I definitely love the colors. I mean, they're definitely working together. But then I thought, is that cheating if I pull two of the things out of the same paper pad? I don't, maybe, I don't know. Um, but then, so then I pulled this out and I thought a part of this could be really cool. Like maybe down here where you get some of the blue and some of the purple around it. Um, so I'm kind of trying to look through the camera to see which one I like better. Um, I think they're both really pretty. I honestly, I think either one would be really good. So, okay, we'll figure that out when the time comes very soon. <laughs> um, something musical. I have two things. So I have some music washi tape and one of our things is washi tape. And then I also have this kind of fun little bookmark that I thought I could just incorporate into the collage somehow. I don't know how. It's going to be a little weird, but you know, hey. Um, and then a calendar page or portion of this. I have so many old planners. Um, this would be a calendar page. I could also use some of this. And then I was like, hmm, not really loving that idea. I uh, went back to some more things that I've picked up along the way and um, just flipped through this because I knew that there was some calendar stuff in, or watercolor stuff in here. And then there was this tag and I thought, well, this could be kind of a fun, interesting thing. So I'm actually going to pull this out and the color will really work well. So I'll have both of those. And then the last thing was bonus, a doodle. So going to go way, way different from our vintage look this week, um, which, you know, I do that once in a while in my journal or in this, in this collage thing. So I think that'll be fine. Um, the other thing I'm a little concerned about is how thick this is going to get because <laughs> these are both cardstock. <laughs> you know, I'm... I think this one's just more interesting, to be honest with you. So I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so let me mark. I don't know that I want all of that <clears throat> blue down there. I kind of want to get some of this purple up here too. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer out and we'll do it this way. It's a little bit of a shame to waste this entire sheet, but it's not really a waste. I'll definitely use these cut up, cut off sheets somewhere. Because so. they're still so pretty. Okay. Now, let's measure for height. Kind of I need to figure out how or where I want this to kind of sit. So, kind of like that, actually. So, let's go there and there. Okay. I'm not going to get too complicated this week, guys. I don't think it's going to... Well, I always say that, and then I second-guess everything, so we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? Who the heck knows? Okay. So, I think what I will do is just glue this down onto my page. All right. Well, this is now triple thick. <laughs> Because last week, it, the page was kind of bending a little funny. So I actually glued, so it was kind of like this with the next um, free page. I actually glued those two pages together. And then I glued this backer page from, from the thing. And now we have some cardstock. So this thing is thick. Can you hear that? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. It is what it is. I said from the beginning, this book will last as long as it will last, and I may not be able to use every page in here, and that's okay. So, all right. So, we have our gorgeousness here. 
Um, I think, let me, I do think I really want it to go there. Um, so I'm going to, oh, that's perforated right there. Well, that's not expected. All right. <laughs> and just tear this out. See what we can come up with for a collage. I don't think I need all of that. Okay. So you could easily rip this in half and do something kind of like this. And something down here or down here. <laughs> or we could do something like that and we don't need both of those um, just see what this might look like just to kind of help offset that just a little bit so I do at least some kind of collage here right <laughs> okay so let's kind of keep that the way that is there now I'm going to Pull this out of here. Gosh, I kind of feel like I'm cheating this week. And we could just put that up there, something like that. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, but hey. Oh well. Okay. And some music washi tape. I'm just curious. Maybe like there. Ooh, that's pretty. And then some down here. Okay. All right. I'm going to hold on to that. So I need to glue some of this stuff together. Um, this. Let's see. Let's just do it this way. Oh, you know what? I need to glue. I need to glue this so that this is in there. I'm going to take some washi tape and washi that on there. more easily glue that down. Can't say I've ever used a piece of metal in collage before. <laughs> there we go. Oops, got some coming out the top. Uh oh, don't get dirty. You need to stay bright and clean and fresh. helps that the gold foiling in this um, card is gold <laughs> so that was really helpful <laughs> okay so let's do that there go ahead 
ahead and add some glue here. This is basically tacked down, but I will just add a little bit of glue underneath. Like so. And what are we going to do about this? Heart glitter glue. <laughs> I didn't plan for that, did I? Um, I need to tack that down so it doesn't go anywhere. Well, my art glitter glue is kind of going all over the place today, huh? Okay. Well, this might get a little bit messy. <laughs> Fine, it'll dry clear. You won't ever know it was there. Okay, well, there's that. Now, let me get my other washi tape, and I am going to put some glue on the back of this one because I don't know how sticky this is anymore. Just go like that. Okay, so a doodle. Do I do a doodle or not? <laughs> um, hmm. I sure do like the colors of this. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna find my. Is this my all pen? Yeah, this is my all pencil. Uh, Stabilo All Pencil, which is really fun. Okay, so I'm going to do... I'm going to do a doodle like this. Probably shouldn't have used this pencil, but we're going to go with it. Because it's watercolor, right? So, it's a cute little border. And then I'm going to take some water to this and see what I can do. I need to sharpen my pencil. Okay, so there's some doodling. Now, this and get that just want it a little bit damp um, I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna wet these just a tiny bit to get the juices flowing but I don't want to lose my shapes so But I like this watercolory look, messiness of it. I think 
guess those three are going to be the same size. <laughs> I'm going to call that one done. Um, a little faster than usual, but actually I really love the colors and how it all kind of came together. So, all right guys, well, there we go. I need to let this sit and dry and, um, yeah, so then I'll journal over here and yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.